So here I am. It's about 8.30 a.m. the day after my surgery. Um, hasn't even been 24 hours because I didn't go in until two o'clock yesterday and it was about a three hour procedure. Um, I'm definitely still in a lot of pain. It was a ton of pain last night, but it was, I would describe it as kind of feeling like intense contractions when you're in labor or um, really bad menstrual cramps, which is kind of confusing to me because I don't have a uterus anymore. Um, but they said it's just from the hysterectomy and everything going on inside there. And then I would say today my pain has switched from the worst of it being cramps to being like definitely pain in there, pain from the packing, um, pain in the pa vaginal area. So, uh, that's different. They've been giving me a variety of pain medications, but when they give the Dilatil, no, I'm not saying that right. Maybe? I don't know, something like that through my IV, then the pain is pretty much non-existent. It's awesome, but we have to start weaning me off of that so I can look at going home. So um, here soon, I'm gonna be expected to get up, walk around, I may attempt to shower because um, this supra pubic catheter has been kind of bleeding all night and made quite the mess. Um, I keep scratching my face because the uh, pain medication they're putting in the IV Common side effect is itchiness, my face itches, my stomach itches, kind of everything. Um, but overall, I think I'm doing well and I'm looking to be getting sent home this afternoon. So um, about 24 hours since my surgery started. Uh, I do have like a motion sickness patch back here. They put that on before the surgery to help prevent nausea. Um, and I haven't felt any nauseousness, so I'm not sure if it's from that or they've also been giving me, um, like Reglan and Zofran, so I haven't felt any of that. Um, they've had me stand up and sit on the edge of the bed. Sitting was worse than standing, for sure. Um, what else? I had to have an injection in my stomach for blood clotting, um. But other than that, it's just been, you know, monitoring the pain and now I have to start getting up and moving around. So I'm kind of not looking forward to going home actually, because here I'm well taken care of. I can get all the help I need. And uh, the rails on the side of the bed are very helpful for switching positions when you don't feel like you've got the power to do it. Because uh, I also keep saying it, my abdominal muscles feel like I did a thousand crunches yesterday and they're just incredibly sore. Um, so that hasn't been fun either, but, um, I'm doing well. Yesterday before the surgery, I kind of, uh, had some last minute reservations and a little bit of chickening out about the hysterectomy because although, you know, I think my husband and I agree that our family is complete, um, it still felt very final. Big decision I felt was on my shoulders and... You know, if it weren't for all the prolapses and things going on, I definitely wouldn't have been getting a hysterectomy. I don't have issues with fibroids or endometriosis or anything that causes pain. I need to get a drink. My mouth is incredibly dry. One second. But, um, otherwise, I don't have a lot of complaints. My nursing staff has been awesome. And after the surgery yesterday, the doctor kind of reiterated that it was a very good idea that I did have the hysterectomy because he said I was incredibly weak down there, really no muscle tone, and um, that I likely would have ended up with a reprolapse. But I can show you um, what this super pubic catheter looks like. So I'm going to flip down to here. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So... The yellow tube is the super pubic that is coming out of my bladder. Um, and then this clear tube is to a normal Foley catheter. So that will get removed before I leave. But the yellow super pubic catheter stays in um, for about two weeks. So I don't think if there's anything else worth updating about. I'm slowly returning to eating. Nothing uh, super big. Um, and I'm trying to stick with like 
fibrous foods because I know that there's a lot of concern for constipation in this situation with the anesthesia and everything else could cause constipation. So um, trying to stay well hydrated and eat foods that will help with that. So um, hubby's coming in about 30 minutes and we're going to start the whole process of trying to get me up walking around, take a shower and get me ready to go home. So I would say I'll be going home at about the 24 hour mark to when I began surgery, which was about um, a three hour procedure. So I will be making more videos to just talk through the entire process. Um, preparation from the urodynamics test in the first visit with the pelvic surgeon all the way through my recovery. Because when I um, was looking for information, about young women having any of these procedures it was hard to come by or I would find someone who had had a hysterectomy but not all of the other repairs that I had so um, I plan on kind of creating some videos to help others that are in these shoes that are looking for some advice about what's going to happen um, and to know how to best prepare for your return home and things like that so all right thanks stay tuned